Also a Fox 35 exclusive, a ticket counter takedown. This happened at the Spirit Airlines counter at Orlando International Airport. The man right here at the bottom of that police pile, well, he's now charged with attempted murder of a police officer. Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joins us live at the airport tonight. So Val, the officer says he started losing consciousness during that assault. Yeah, pretty scary, but I am told that officer is doing okay now and was even able to go right back to work. It all went down right here at the Spirit Airline ticket counter. Police say a crowd just got out of control and a customer started fighting an officer. Backup arrived and held the guy down. It was a big brawl in front of the Spirit Airlines ticket counter on Tuesday night. Police say an officer was assaulted by a customer. 41-year-old Edward Harrison faces attempted first-degree murder and battery charges. When you're at the peak of snap, it only takes one more thing to make a snap. According to the arrest report, a large crowd of passengers were yelling at the Spirit staff. Some even went behind the ticket counters. Investigators say Harrison assaulted a worker and grabbed a computer keyboard. That's when an officer tried stopping him and a fight started. Started. According to the report, the officer stated, we both fell onto the ground and Harrison put one of his arms around my neck in a chokehold and began to squeeze, restricting my airway, making it unable for me to breathe. I began to get dizzy and immediately spotty as my airflow was restricted and I was beginning to lose consciousness. The officer was able to break free after backup arrived. To become irrational like that, it's, it's, not, it's not right. Neil Davis and his friends didn't see the fight but says last night around 200 Spirit Airlines passengers were lined up and upset. People get annoyed and irritated and the workers were you know, getting annoyed and irritated back with them. So I understood you know, that it was just a bad situation. It was just screaming, don't fly Spirit, don't fly Spirit. We reached out to Spirit Airlines and are waiting to hear back. Davis says they got stuck here last night after missing their connection due to weather. Not only are we out money, we're out, you know, pay an extra night for a hotel. Will you ever fly them again? No, God no, <laughs> no. And again, we are still waiting to hear back from Spirit Airlines for comments. Reporting live at Orlando International Airport, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.